It's a middleweight title fight between Razor and the Karate Kid, Leono Machida. He is the UFC's first Karate Kid, Leono the Dragon Machida. Trained by his father, he is a black belt in Shotokan Karate, who opened his mixed martial arts career 16 and 0. One of the elite Brazilians to own a UFC championship. Lyoto Machida comes from a traditional karate background, and he's adapted it perfectly for MMA. He's extremely elusive, has pinpoint accurate punches and kicks, and is deceptively powerful. Lyoto Machida steps into the octagon, and this time, he wants to be with the belt. Razor, making his way to the octagon, looking to once again defend the title. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Razor, ready to fight. Leota, the Dragon Machida. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Razor is 31, Machida is 43. Razor is one inch taller. The reach is identical. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. They touch gloves. Razor. Here go. First one. Leo to Machida. Let's and go. Here we go. Five round fight. White trunks for Machida. Black trunks for the champion. One thing to keep an eye out for are the counters of Leoto Machida. He is very good at catching opponents as they attack. Clean straight punch. Razor with a strong combination. Looking for a body shot. Great spinning back kick right to the body. He blocks that hook. Nice body shot. 
He connects with another body shot. Big roundhouse kick. Wow. That left high kick came out of nowhere. Swinging early, both men. Joe, he's really on point with his strikes tonight. And now they clinch up. He's in a better position here with the tie clinch. Works the double underhooks here. Spins around, gets the back. Huge oh, takedown. What a sequence. Right there. Let's see what he can do from here. He postures up. Here's a little piece of trivia for folks who don't know. The reason why you're not allowed to do a downward elbow, 12 to 6, is because when they first brought mixed martial arts to athletic commissions, the people on the commission said, well, you can't let someone do that. I saw people break bricks with that on ESPN. <laughs> In reality, there's really very little difference between a downward elbow or a 45-degree elbow or, or what have you. Solid jab by Razor. Big kick by the Dragon. Leoto Machida, the Karate Kid. Man, it is fun to watch how he can mix things up. Head kick. Nicely done. Fly to the knee. And there's a takedown attempt. Hit him with a jab. Ton of quickness possessed by both of these men. Really good job of landing that series of punches. Fly and knee. Oh, Huge that's left, left hand. Left hand. Powerful strikes. Big takedown. Oh, looking for his back. Oh, oh, big right hand clipped him. And again, he's back into side control. Half guard. He's got full guard here. He's in full guard here. He's looking for the triangle. He's got the leg over the shoulder. Now, he's going to pull down on his shin. And he's free. Good left hand by Machida. Wow. Back up to the feet. Trying to connect on that jab. He got caught, Mike. Tagged him. Oh, that's a big leg kick. Strong jab. How good is this? I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Oh, he's landing at will. The swelling on his eyes is starting to get really bad. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. Razor with a strong jab. Lyoto Machida with some vicious body shots. Just like you said, Joe, he's doing a great job utilizing those body strikes. Oh, that head kick caught him. Oh, nice. Landing it, Will. Oh! oh! He is clearly in big, big trouble here. Look at that! hook that got him the victory. Time now for our fight replay. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook as it lands for the knockout. Here we see it again. Bam! And good night. And now with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by and still. Remains the UFC middleweight champion.